Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, I'm going back and revisiting a game called Kerbal Space Program because I noticed that was on the Steam Winter Sale. It's on sale. I don't know exactly how much it is right now. But I think the original price is like 30 bucks, so it might be on sale for like 25 or $20. But with that being said, I love this game. Obviously, being a science teacher uh, with specifically Earth and Space Science, and I have a college degree in Earth and Space Science, this game is right up my alley. But I did want to play the game and kind of do a, a playthrough. Not that I'm an expert at this game or anything, but there are there might be some new people with this being on the Steam Winter Sale that um, really are struggling with this game. It is a very tough game to play. It does deal with pretty realistic physics. Uh, and I do want to talk about some of the educational standpoints behind it as we're going through, uh, because after all, I am a teacher, and we've been looking a lot at SpaceX in my class, and I feel like this would be a really good game to get into. So we're going to go ahead and start a game. We will start new. We will just call it CBF 101 and we're gonna do career mode so there's sandbox science and career so sandbox you have unlimited everything that you want science you have unlimited money but you have to research science and career you need to both make money and uh, research science so we're gonna keep the difficulty options on normal we'll keep our flag as normal but there's a lot of different flags that you can choose and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it So, right out of the gate, this is your little area. This is your uh, launch site, if you will. You've got the launch pad, the tracking station, the vehicle assembly building, your mission control, your space plane hangar, your research and development, your astronaut complex, and your administration building. And I'm not going to go through and explain what every single one of these is, but I'll, I'll kind of explain it as we need it. So. First things first is that you're going to want to go to your mission control and you're going to want to pick up some missions. So you can see your available missions, your active missions, and your archived missions. You see there are some uh, available missions. We've got gather scientific data from Kerbin, launch our first vessel, escape the atmosphere, and orbit Kerbin. And this will eventually fill up with a whole lot of random things. So I think we could probably mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. do the first two and you can see as we're doing it if we complete we get sixty four hundred dollars one science unit and two units of reputation uh, and our rewards on top of this I guess once we achieve our goal we get an extra extra stuff right here so again money science reputation so we'll take that one and we'll also take our launch our first vessel so we'll go back and leave facility and we'll go to our vehicle assembly building okay so first things first is that you need here's all your tabs we don't have much because remember we have to unlock this stuff with our science points so First thing you have to start with is a command pod. This is where your astronauts actually sit. Little command pod right here. Basic, small, no big deal. And we will put a solid rocket booster on there. And I do have a mod installed that allows us to use engineering systems, but for the first few, I'm gonna keep it stock. So let me get rid of this up here because we don't need to know any of that right now. And since we have to collect science from Kerbin, I will put our little mystery goo containment unit onto the back right there. And since we don't want our astronaut to die, we need a some kind of a parachute. And this one just fits right on the top. So over on the right hand side here you're going to see staging units and you actually work from the top number, uh, you work from the higher number down. So zero would be our last and one would be our first or if we had two, two would be our first, three would be our first and you work from bottom up. 
So our first stage is going to be that we're going to launch the rocket, and then once the rocket's out, our second stage is going to be that we deploy our parachute, and you activate your stages by hitting spacebar. So let's just title this uh, Test Rocket Version 1.0. We'll click the save button and we will go to launch. Okay, so we have a very minor launch pad here. It's pretty much just uh, just a piece of gravel, just a strip of gravel here. But there are a couple things that we can do. So over here, we see that we have to gather scientific data from Kerbin. Recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. So while we're sitting here, we can actually get some science. Right click on the Mystery Goo containment unit and click Observe Mystery Goo. And it'll say Mystery Goo observation from the launch pad. The goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now. That's fine. We don't care. But we will keep and recover and we'll get three science points from that. What you also can do is take a crew report. So a crew report, uh, so this is where Jebediah Kerman, Kerman, our astronaut, writes down a little report and he takes an assessment of the situation from the launch pad and it'll give us another 1.5 science. We will keep that. So we should have achieved our goal, uh, or no, actually, sorry, we have to recover it first. So let's assume that this one's done because when we recover it, we'll get credit for it. Uh, and the next one is that launch your first vessel off of the launch pad or the runway to achieve this goal. Now a couple things. Okay, we've got SAS right here, and I'm not sure what that acronym stands for, but it's just it's it's stability. And you toggle this by clicking T. And since we have an astronaut, he's going to keep his, to the best of his ability. He's going to keep the rocket from spinning around. So this rocket should just launch straight up. Now, as you can see down here, there's a little throttle. And by holding shift, I can bring it up. And by holding control, I can bring it down. Z will bring it max. X will bring it to nothing. Uh, and that is for liquid fuel. Unfortunately, with this, we've got solid fuel. So once, it, once the engine is on, it's on. And you'll see that once it, when it burns, it's just going to burn at full force, 100%. Even if the throttle is all the way down, uh, because it's it's solid. Once you light it, it's it's lit, and you can't turn it off until it either blows up or runs out. So we've got T. We've got our SAS enabled. We're gonna hit spacebar, and we're just gonna launch, and we're gonna get some science and get some get some money. So you can see the fuel down here is depleting. Our fuel has now run out. We should slow down pretty quickly as we're pushing up against the atmosphere. You can actually see the wind. We're breaking through the atmosphere. Nice little view of the moon. And we're going to float. We might make it to 10 kilometers, 10,000 meters, or 10 kilometers. So we're a few miles above. And we're slowing down. Here's our speed. Once we reach zero, then we will actually start going back downward. Okay, now we're going back downward, so we are falling. Let me go ahead and speed this up a little bit. You could change time by going up here and clicking, or you can use uh, comma to bring it down, or period to bring it up. So now that we are falling straight back down, when we get lower, I will deploy our parachute. And again, I'll do that by hitting space because we know that we've already done stage one. Space will now start stage zero. And our parachute will deploy at about a thousand meters. It's deployed now, but it'll it'll retract out. There we go, at about a thousand meters. And it should slow us down to about seven meters per second. You can see we've only gone a little bit away from the launch pad. But we should touch down here very safely. The engine should be able to withstand a six to seven meter per second impact. And we have 
touchdown. So now that we've touched it down, we're going to go ahead and hover over here and we're going to click recover vessel. And as you can see, we've got a summary for Test Rocket version 1.0. We've recovered a crew report, which gave us 1.5 science. We've recovered our mystery goo, which gave us 3 science. And recovery of a vessel that survived the flight gave us 5 science. We can also get some of our money back for the parts that we recovered, since none of our parts blew up. We do get money back for recovering those parts. And our crew... Jebediah gained 1 XP. And the higher level that your crew is, they can actually do more things. They become better. And again, also you can see our total reputation here is 19. But we'll go ahead and click next, 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 and take a look down here. And these are all things that we accomplished on that flight. So we did our mission of gathering scientific data. And you don't have to like accept this. It just, when you complete it, it gives it to you. So we'll trash it. Uh, we've gathered science data from Kerbin, so that was a goal. So we did the, the mi we had the quest or the mission, and we got a goal, which gave us more money. We launched our first vessel, and again we did the mission and the goal. And world's first milestone, so we broke a, a speed record of 25 meters per second. We launched our first vessel. We broke a speed record of 80 meters per second, so on and so forth. And you just get these kind of just by doing things, but we got a lot of money for it. And, a, and quite a bit of science. So, before we look into any more science, we're going to take a look at mission control, and you can see we've got a whole lot more here. So, what can we do? Is there anything that we can do? Escape the atmosphere, orbit Kerbin. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's hold off for now and see what we can unlock. So research and development is where you spend your science points. And you can see there is a big tree. All of these are plenty of different parts that you can unlock. But you've got to unlock the prerequisites. You've got to unlock the things before them in order to lock, unlock the, the better, bigger uh, points. And as you go up these tiers, so like these only cost 5 science, these cost 20 science, 45 science, 90, 160, 300 and 550 individually uh, so very quickly you need thousands and thousands and thousands of science points but to just start off we've got 19 and a half uh, basic rocketry will give us a new engine a new solid fuel booster and a liquid fuel tank so we'll go ahead and research that for five points and then engineering is going to give us um, thermometer which is used for science a communitron antenna, which is for transmitting science back to Kerbin if you don't want to recover the vessel, but you'd rather just send it. You don't get 100% of the science, but sometimes it's safe. Uh, if you don't think that you're going to make it back, you can just transmit. We've got a decoupler, so we can actually separate stages. And we've got another antenna. So we will go ahead and research this as well. Uh, we are left now with 9.5 science, except these cost about 15 to 20 so there's really nothing else that we can unlock right now but we can improve our uh, do we have any we can improve our rocket and I th we should be able to break through the atmosphere so let me leave we won't save should be able to break through the atmosphere. It might fail a few times. So we're going to try to escape the atmosphere. We have to fly uh, an altitude, altitude of 70,000 meters to achieve this goal, which is very high. Last time we only went about 12,000 meters. We're going to try to get to 70,000. But as you can see, we'll get a lot of money and we'll indirectly get a bunch of science too. So we will accept that contract. Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. Zoom out here a little bit. So, uh, first things first, let's stack a few of those. And then we will put on, what am I doing? There, that's what I'm looking for. We'll put on our swivel engine. 
and we need to decouple it. So what the decoupler do will do is anything below it, when I activate the decoupler, it will literally... Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a minor explosion, and it'll blow it off. And, it, and then that way it's not weighing us down when we're done with it. But what we'll put below that is our bigger... We'll put our bigger hammer solid fuel booster. So this should get us pretty high up. And I'm hoping that this these little guys will get us the rest of the way. It might not. There's a lot of trial and error in this game. What we do want to do is put some basic fins on. And by hitting X, I was able to bring my symmetry, instead of just one, I'll bring it to four. And that'll give us four fins at the bottom for a little bit more uh, stabilized control. And can't forget our science. So now we've got a thermometer as well. And we'll just bring the symmetry back down to one and smack the thermometer right there. And we will do test rocket version 2.0 save and launch I didn't check my staging yeah see my staging is actually incorrect if I were to stage it right now I would launch the bottom rocket and separate the decoupler at the same time so I am gonna do that just to show you what happens uh, it's gonna be a fail but I can just revert it back to launch so if I hit space uh, You'll see, actually what you can't see is that these two things are not connected, which I think is pretty funny. But once this runs out of fuel, you'll probably see that, uh, A, it's very unstable. See, things are starting to rock around and it's, it's just not good. And that was all because at the very bottom, um, I had my staging wrong. So we'll revert flight and we'll go back to launch. I can change the the staging from the launch pad. It's not a big deal. So we will just add this. And then that way it's rocket. And then when this rocket's out of fuel, I'll decouple it. I'll boost the liquid fuel rocket. And I'm hoping that that will get us up to 70,000 meters. It might not. We'll see what happens. So we again hit T to turn SAS on so that Jebediah can shoot us straight up into the air and we'll just hope for the best. And while we're climbing, we'll try to take some more science too. So you can see this time it's a much straighter flight. The rocket is connected to itself. We will go ahead and take some mystery goo from here. Keep it. We'll log temperature data. Keep it. And I'll do a crew report from here as well. We'll keep that. So we just got some science. Now this rocket's out, I hit space, and boom, it decouples. Now, I hit space again, and it's going to take, use the liquid fuel for the rest of the flight. And as you can see, we're punching through the thick part of the atmosphere, we're climbing, 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 we're at about 20,000 meters, and I'm hoping that, I don't think we're going to get it, I don't think we're going to get it. Um, we're going to hit M to go to our galaxy map. And our apoapsis, oh, okay. Our apoapsis, which is our, our tallest point of the flight, is at 128,000 meters. So we will actually break atmosphere because atmosphere is at 70,000. And we're going to get up to about 128,000. But look at this view. I do want to install some visual mods to make Kerbin look better. And there's like cool looking clouds and cities. But as of right now, this is just stock minus the, the cribble engineer, but we're not using that. But as you can see, since we're getting out of the atmosphere right now, we have completed our mission over here. You can see that we have $20,000 for science and eight reputation, and then another $32,000 for science and eight reputation, and a whole bunch of more milestones. So all we did was launch straight up and we got all that stuff. And we're still just floating up, floating up, and we're going to float up till we get to about 128,000, which is 128 kilometers. And uh, since I'm American and we use the Imperial system, I really don't know how many miles that is, but I generally cut the number in half and it's close enough. So we'll say 130,000 kilometers. I don't know, that might be around 60 miles. 
Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. But to speed things up, we're going to advance time. We're falling back down to Earth now. And as you get closer to Earth, it actually slows your time down. Now what you'll notice is as I'm punching back through the atmosphere, so I went from no atmosphere to thicker atmosphere, as this gauge here goes from left to right, you get thicker into the atmosphere, just like here on Earth. You'll notice that if my speed gets too high, I'll actually start to take heat damage onto my engine, and that can be a very big issue both in-game and in real life. So you can see I'm actually starting on fire. Now luckily our engine can take a lot of heat. It should not blow up. Should not being the key word. So we're going to punch through the atmosphere. Hopefully we slow down. The atmosphere is actually causing friction, which is why we're heating. And it's slowing us down. And hopefully we make it through the atmosphere, which it seems like we are. We're getting a little unstable, but that's okay. And once this is not red, I'm going to punch the parachute. Hopefully soon here, because we're, we might die here soon. Come on, parachute please. Oh, we're going to die. For some reason, my parachute never said it was safe to open. I wonder why. We were probably traveling too quickly. So we're just going to revert to launch, and I got an idea. I think we went a little too high, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to throttle back on my liquid fuel system. So we're going to launch straight up into the air again. And we're going to let our, our solid rocket booster take us as high as it needs to or as high as it can. Oh, uh, you know what I actually forgot to do? My staging is still incorrect. So we're going to revert flight one more time. Again, the lot, this game is trial and error. One minor mistake ruins the whole mission. So don't forget this right here. Okay, and I'm going to try to speed it up so it goes a little quicker. Um, but we're going to just pop the solid fuel system. Don't forget, since we crashed and reverted, we need to log our temperature again. Uh, that was weird. The game froze there for a second. Log this again. Okay, we're going to keep it. We'll do another crew report. Keep it. Okay, so we're going straight up, straight up. This will be done soon. Pop that off, and I'm going to hit M and see where we're at. Okay, so our apoapsis is only at 20,000, so I'm going to full throttle and hit space again. And I'm going to watch, and once this number hits 70, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut the fuel by hitting X once this number hits 70. Okay, 72. And you can see this number is actually going down because we're still getting forced down by the atmosphere. But if it dips below 70,000, which I don't think it will, uh, then I can just throttle up again a little bit and we'll push it back above 70. But what this should do is reduce our speed when we come back into the atmosphere. And hopefully I'll be slow enough to deploy my parachute and we won't have a crash landing. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here a little bit. Okay, so we're waiting to get to 70,000. 70,000 will get us our missions that we need. Okay, we got our missions done. So we're gonna, we're just at the tip. And now we're gonna start coming back down to Kerbin. And you can see our, our, uh, altitude is declining. I'm gonna slow down. And what I'm going to actually do is once we start burning up, once we start going so fast that we're cutting through the atmosphere and we're starting on fire, I'm going to throttle up again. And it's not going to launch me back into the atmosphere, but what it will do is slow me down. And actually, we are, we're going pretty slow. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get any fire. We might actually make it back with some fuel. Yeah, we're, this is actually a much safer landing. I'm going to speed up time a little bit here. See, we're getting a little bit of fire, so I'm just going to throttle. Boom. 
see how much slower it makes us and now we're not cutting into the atmosphere as quickly and it's just air pressure and it's not it's not fire it's not heat so we're still just waiting for this to not be red it was not red I don't know if you guys caught that or not it was not red if you do that and it's red it will just break right off but yellow is okay and at about a thousand meters it'll open up just like it did I don't know what's going on let me uh, uh, I was gonna revert flight but at that point guys unfortunately uh, I'm gonna cut the video there that that, for all intents and purposes, should have worked. I don't know why we came in so hard. Uh, I might have to decouple the rocket. It might be weighing us down. But a lot of crashes. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get you through the first couple missions. But if you guys enjoy this video, I have progressed pretty far into this game. Um, obviously, through a lot of trial and error. I can keep making videos on this game if you guys want. Just let me know. Have a wonderful day. Actually, you know what I just realized is that we successfully, the, the rocket blew up, but our, our astronaut did not. So we can actually recover this vessel, and it's a successful mission. Boom. Look at all that science. Look at all, we didn't get as much money back from our parts, because a lot of our parts blew up. But, he lived, we get science, and I'd say it's a success. It's enough of a success. Alright guys, have a wonderful day.